died last night. I'm so sorry. No, she couldn't die. She didn't die. Hey, Des. You working? Um, I'm almost done. Do you need the room? I just wanted to change it to my suit. Uh, give me a few minutes to finish up. All right, I guess. Oh, and I'm on duty all afternoon, so if you need anything, you come to me, not Nate. Why? Uh, you can't give him that, that I'm too rich to be human attitude today. He's worried about Danny. Yeah? She went to go find her mom before she dies. Oh, boy. So just leave him alone, okay? And don't push me either. What's wrong with you? I'm in no mood today. This mess is left over from my boy David ditching his forever woman, Dorian, at the altar. Oh, girls, I told you I don't want any breakfast. I didn't bring a muffin basket or lunch. But I did bring something from David. Hmm. You think late October would be too soon? For what? Our wedding. I want my mother to be able to enjoy it. Well, maybe, maybe a wedding will be a good distraction. Look, you're both going to be thinking about Evangeline that day, whenever it is. You're right. That should be the invitation samples. I'll get them. Hey. Hi. Sign here. Okay. Thanks. Okay. That's too small for the samples. The Landry University Art Department. I wonder what this is. Is it addressed to you? Yeah. Then open it and find out. Did you just say Tahiti? I think that's where Clark took Blair. You? Yeah, that's what we came up with too, but we thought it was a long shot. Well, if we both came up with the same conclusion, I'll go with it. What do we do now? I called Blair. I couldn't get through. Neither could we. I'll bet. Eli sabotaged her phone. John, what do we do now? We're going through all the proper channels. Right. Channels. On the other side of the world. Did you happen to tell them that Blair is about to marry a guy who has killed two wives? For all we know, she might be wife number three. Do you, Blair, take this man to be your lawfully wedded husband? To love and to cherish, to have and to hold, for rich or for poor, in sickness and in health, till death do you part. Blair? Something wrong? I'm sorry, but it's true. What happened? Nothing happened. She died in her sleep. She wasn't in any pain at all. It was very peaceful. The last thing she saw before she closed her eyes was a picture of you two. She's no, she's not gone. gone. She's this is pretty low, Evans. I'm sorry to be the one to tell you, Tyler, no. but it's... Danny, don't worry. He's lying to us. You think I don't know how to be decent? You used to. What's that supposed to mean? I'm your friend, right? I don't know. You used to be. Well, do you want me to be your friend? Of course, Destiny. Then here it is. Straight up. You're changing, Matthew, and not in a good way. How did you get in here? Hilda always liked me better than you. Oh, she's going to lose her job for that. Again. Now get out. You look like death on toast. Give me my robe, please. As you well know, I am not a morning person. 
Oh, I remember it well. Mm. So you're not even curious? About what? David? Of course not. I have left that man for the last time. <laughs> <laughs> I heard it was the other way around, that David left you at the altar again. I don't know where you get your information from. I can't believe that you got duped by that clown. I was not Twice. in the least bit duped. And this time, he didn't even tell you face to face. He had to write a letter. It's not you, it's me. I can't commit to just one woman. Clint? I don't want to hurt you. Lots of love, David. Clint! Hmm? How do you know what was in that letter? Dear Mr. Vega, after careful consideration of your submission, we're pleased to inform you that the university is awarding you, awarding you a grant in the amount of... Holy... What? Is it a good number? An un unbelievable number. Keep reading. <laughs> Along with this grant, you have the opportunity to exhibit your work at the Landview Center of the Arts. We also have reserved a studio for your exclusive use at the university. This has got to be a joke. No. It's got to be. I never applied for any grant. But I did. First, we need some place to send the authorities. Ross Rayburn's house. We're looking up those records now. That would be our first move. What do you mean? Uh, even if they went to Tahiti. It's not like that's Clark's endgame, you know? It's too easy to trace. It's not like he's thinking that Blair's gonna settle down with him there and live happily ever after. Yeah, there's no way she'd leave her family. The guy always leaves himself a back door. Exactly. He's too smart to get cornered like that now. You know what, though? We surprised him. A couple of weeks ago, we surprised him, all right? He's, uh, he's had time to get ready for us. You think he has another identity set up? Absolutely. This guy's already gotten rid of two wives, and each time he's resurfaced with a new alias. But after he collects, right? I mean, he's not gonna kill Blair if there's no way he can get to her money. Well, I mean, it makes sense. He knows that we're on to him now. There's no way he's gonna just show up in Landview saying that Blair had a tragic scuba accident and he tries to get his hand on our estate I'm sure he could you're right I mean, he, he could he doesn't know that we have hard evidence on him now you know you could be thinking hey, so what if they're suspicious it's not like they got any way to prove it you know what john i think you need to move on this eli could be thinking he's gonna kill blair come back here long enough to collect his inheritance and then disappear again blair something wrong i'm fine I'm fine. Do you, Blair, take this man? Yes, I do. I take this man to be my lawfully wedded husband, to love and to cherish in sickness and in health, but richer for poor, till death do us part. All the rings. Repeat after me. With this ring, I be wed. With this ring, I be wed. By the power vested in me, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. Congratulations, Mr. and Mrs. Clark. Thanks, man. Took you long enough. Oh, I had to wait to find the right woman. I wish I'd learned that one. To Blair finally making an honest man out of this guy. He makes me happy. Well, then the Eli. <laughs> for making you happy as long as you live. No, I don't understand. Oh, it's a trick. <laughs> Look, they have grief counselors. Maybe I they have cops because I think that's what we need. Hold on! Wait, what are you talking about? This man's been lying to us. This is his plan all along. I don't know what you're talking about. Shut up. Hey. No, don't! Stop. No, you set the whole thing up. I'm not sure you, man. You're not going to get away from it. You applied for a grant. You submitted my work. I sent in photos of your favorites. This is unbelievable. I figured, why not? I know how to write a grant app, and I know how much you love to teach and paint and how happy you would be if you could do both, and I want you to be happy. You did this for me. And now the whole world can see your work. And my own studio, like full time. Yeah.
You can leave things out, and you can do big canvases again. I can't believe you did this for me. It was easy. I believe in you. And that should be the invitation to No, me. that's L.U. They want their letter back. I'm sure they were looking for Christian Vega, not Christian Vega. <laughs> Stop. Whoa. Layla, did you order jumbo size invitations? What? I don't think these are the samples. You are quoting David's letter word for word. Now you admit there was a letter. How do you know what was in it? I ran into Vicky this oh, morning. Oh, oh, Vicky, that vicious gossip. Oh, don't blame Vicky. Oh, 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 that sanctimonious rumor monger is peddling my story all over town? No, no, no. Vicky was worried about you, and so was I. Since when? Since you gave me a stadium with my name on it. Oh, yes, warms the heart, doesn't it? That was blackmail. No, it was a straight business deal. Oh, and you're worried that it won't stand? No, you already announced it. Would look very, very bad with the voters if you backed off. So you're not here to protect your business investment? I'm just here to make sure that... that you're okay. I feel bad for you. Spare me. I also feel bad about my part. I'm responsible for David leaving you. You're the one who sold Taya this line, this, right? She wouldn't have come here if it weren't for you. Well, we're too late. No, Danny, no, we're not too late. Too late. He's lying to us. He's been lying to us since we showed up. Now, where is she? Todd, I told you. No, I don't want to hear that. Those are lies. I know that. Look, I can show you a death certificate if you want. Oh, what about a body? You got a body? No. Let's see. She's not dead. You're hiding. Dad didn't want us to see her, so you're hiding. The game's up, man. Take us to her. This is right. We got confirmation from the utilities company and the bank. What? Okay. Keep digging. And work fast. John? What is it? What did you find? Oh, I cannot get... Wait! To get home and celebrate with the family. Well, I just checked in with the airport. We are on the next flight out. Perfect. It's tonight, though. Tonight? That's as soon as we can get out? That's all they had. Well, I'm really worried about Danny. I just wanted to... I know. I think she's going to be fine. We'll call her from the gate. I'm sure they have a landline at the okay. airport. So, no, I'm, uh, I'm glad you're looking out for her. I'm trying. Yeah. Danny's going to be fine. Looking out for Danny is the one thing that Todd does right. I have the scars to prove it. <laughs> Listen, give yourself a honeymoon day. I'm out of here. The place is yours. Oh. Thanks, Ross. Anytime, anytime. Tell Danny, uh... I love her when you see her. I will. Great. And thanks for letting me be a part of my brother's wedding day. You know, we don't have a lot of moments. No. Yeah, I know. I'm glad that you could be here, Ross. We walk out. Right on. Someone's been living in Ross Rayburn's house since his death. Who? Rayburn, he's alive. Taya's dead. Take me to her body. I can't. I'm telling you. No, there's those are lies. Taya's not dead. But you are going to be if you don't tell me where she is. Right now. <laughs> <laughs> 